Now, if we go back and look at our directions for these problems, it said to graph. So we already have all of our graphs done from the previous two videos. Okay. It also says to state the domain and range. We haven't done that, that yet. So we're just going to go back and discuss what domain and range is for these problems. So when I'm looking at this, since this pattern continues forever, we're coming from negative infinity on the x side, and I'm tracing along this line, and then we jump. So, but because we have a closed circle over an open circle, this x value still counts. So even though we're jumping up and down, or really up, not down, we're going to have every single x value. So the domain for this problem is still going to be all real numbers. So there's nothing that we're skipping over. Now range when I'm looking at it, so it looks like we're going to get to every single y value except the pieces in between here. So we're excluding that. So really when I'm looking at it, I have a y value at 0, at 1, at 2, at 3, or in the opposite direction, it's at negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So those are all of our integers. So positive, negative whole numbers and 0. So the range for these types of graphs is going to be all the integers. So our symbol for that is our z. Okay. So even on this one, when I'm looking at this, again, as I'm tracing, I'm going from the negatives, and we're going covering all these x's in between. We jump up to a closed circle, so this x value still counts. Tracing over, jumping up, tracing over, jumping up, and we're going to continue that pattern forever. So again, the domain for this one has to be all real numbers. And our range, again, if I'm looking at this, well, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and it's going to continue, but we're skipping all the parts in between. So that means that we're only going to have positive, negative whole numbers again, including 0. So my range, again, is just going to be all of the integers. Right, even looking at this next one. So again, domain for this has to be all real numbers because we don't have any horizontal break in our graph, no matter where we look. So again, tracing from infinity, we keep jumping up, but again, we have a closed dot over an open dot, so that x value still counts. So if we're skipping, we're only skipping the parts in between. So again, my y values on this one, I have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, all the way down to negative infinity. Same thing, we're going to go all the way up to positive infinity, but it's only ever going to be on a whole number. So that, again, my range is going to have to be all of the integers for this one. And even if we look at our next set of graphs, that pattern is still happening. So domain is all reals. The range is going to be all of the integers for this one. Okay, so again, domain is all reals. Range is going to be all of the integers. 